Hey guys, I am Faye. Welcome to Iowa. Welcome to Marion, Iowa, which is where I live. I lived in Iowa for the past seven years. And let me tell you, Iowa is not for everyone. You either love Iowa or you hate Iowa. So here are things that I strongly disliked about living here in Iowa. <laughs> It is the bug. Iowa is full of bugs. During the summer, oh my goodness, you cannot get away from the bugs. It's everywhere. And also, if you're gonna hang out in the parks, bring a lot of bugs repellents because mosquito will eat you alive if you do not. If your internet goes out, I have Mediacom. It will take them about 15 days, 8 days to come and fix it that everybody is complaining how bad Mediacom is but they don't care because there is no competition there is no other company that will move in to take their business away so people just go when they go they come when they come so and they will never call you to tell you oh we cannot come today because something happened because of the weather or whatever but they just don't show Iowa is a farm country so basically you have lots of hogging you have lots of cowing and you also have the manufacturing plants such as quicker oats such as Girono meal so when you think of those places you think of wonderful dessert smells of captain crunch but it is not so to make those cereals they have to wash the grains with chemicals that smell terribly bad and when a batch of cereal burns, the smell spread all over Cedar Rapids. I know a gentleman that have about 30,000 hogs. And then hogs, fecal matter, smell worse than this of a human. So can you imagine 30,000 human pooping on the floor in a farm somewhere? So basically you can smell that stuff from mouths. Farmer just raise cows. So when the cow poop, they do not just dump it somewhere. Cow manure is a wonderful fertilizer. So what they do, they pick up all those cow dung and dump it in a field to fertilize the field. Steaming piles of dung is fertilizing the field. You just can't breathe. It smells terribly bad. And when you take into account all those smells meshed together and wash all over Cedar Rapids, so the city comes to be very, very smelly. Farm equipment. You can have a company who have 30,000 acres of land to grow crops such as soybeans, such as corn. They also need a very large equipment to get the job done faster. So these equipment sometimes take normal woods that you and I would drive. Imagine going to work at 8 in the morning and then you got stuck behind a huge large farm equipment. And I swear to you, these equipment sometimes go 1.5 miles per hour. So there is no going anywhere. Iowa doesn't have much diversity because it's a farm country. So the food is not very diverse, the culture is not very diverse. I went tend to like a few things. They like Haikai and also the cyclones. Everything that has to do with farming. And to give you an example, my husband grandmother used to come and spend some time with us and she loved to watch TV. And she likes to watch the auction channel where they sell pigs, where they sell grain. As of Monday, January 30th, the national average carcass at price was $85.03 per carcass, up $1.52 from last Friday, and up $9.06 sense from a year ago. So, this is Iowa for you. Even summer, if you come here in Iowa, it can be like 108 degrees, 115 degrees. So basically, it's sweltering hot. Something I don't do not like when I sweat here, there is a 
film of dust over my skin that I don't seem to be able to get rid of. I don't like, like the dead of summer here in Iowa. It is way too hot. Some days it's too cold for my son to go to school. Some days it's too muggy. Not only that, I've never seen such a shift in weather condition than Iowa. The infrastructure is very underwhelming. We have cool again to come purifying the water, but yet uh, my hair breaks, my skin itch because the water was so hard. My hot water heater, it has so much calcium that the bottom fell off. So this is how hard Marina water is. And I lived here for seven years and for the first four years I couldn't have internet because they didn't reach my area because I am on the outskirts of a huge farm. So this in a case makes sense. It seems like we are still operating on the agricultural grid because in the past there was so much to do feeding the cow, uh, feeding the hogs, uh, gardening, repairing tools so there is not much time to watch TV. Uh, we have restaurants, but they are not great. So if you're looking for a view, you may not find it here because there is no big mountain. It's because everything is flat. Uh, you can go uh, skiing here, but uh, the down slope, I think, take sometimes 30 seconds. I was having a discussion with my husband the other day. He said that Iowa is only pretty when it's about to die. And my number one issue about living here in Iowa is the winter. Uh, it's very harsh. It's cold for at least six months. But in winter time, it is gray out all the time. Um, and there's not much sun, so it's not very pretty. Basically, there will be pros and cons to anywhere that you choose to live. When I lived in Denver, I loved it. I love the weather, I love the food culture, and I love the culture, so to speak. That's why I went to college, that's where all of my friends were. And at the same time, I hated going from Denver University to downtown Denver because it was a nightmare. And I will always find something I don't like about the place that I live. It's gonna be up to me to make it home. But right now, Iowa is domicile. Iowa is home. And in any case, have you been to Iowa? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What did you like about it? What did you hate about it? In the near future, I'm going to do another video about the pros of living in Iowa. Until next time, Mali.